Good day. Today's topic is counting the number of atoms. How do you know the number of atoms in a certain compound or in a certain chemical formula that you are given? Before we start, I'd like you to please write the rules that we have here. Copy these in your notebook. Number one, subscripts only apply to the atom to its left. There is only one atom if there is no subscript. Okay, so again, if you have a subscript, it only applies to the atom to its left. If there's no subscript, then that means there's only one atom. For example, if you have HCl here, if you have HCl, both hydrogen and chlorine do not have any subscripts, so that means we only have one hydrogen atom. We also have one chlorine atom. Example number two, you have H2O. The subscript of 2 here only applies to the atom or to the element to its left. So that means 2 here only applies to hydrogen. It does not apply to oxygen. Okay, so that means we have two hydrogen atoms here. As for oxygen, it has no subscript, so we can say that there is only one oxygen atom. So again, in H2O, there are two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. That's rule number one. We go to rule number two. If there is a coefficient, you need to multiply it to all the atoms in the formula. A coefficient is the number that comes before the chemical formula. So, for example, you have 2H2O. This number here, the small number, you'd call that your subscript. While your bigger number here in front of the chemical formula, you'd call that the coefficient. As what we have learned in rule number one, your subscript would only be applied to the element to its left not to all the elements in your chemical formula. But in the case of your coefficient, this is applied to all the elements that you have there. And this needs to be multiplied to all the atoms in the formula. So if you are going to count the number of atoms in two molecules of H2O, then for hydrogen, you have 2 multiplied by 2. Okay, so 2, that's multiplied by 2. You have 4 hydrogen atoms. And for oxygen, you have 2 multiplied by 1. We say 1 here since there is no subscript. So that's 2 multiplied by 1 for oxygen, and that means we have 2 oxygen atoms. Okay, so that's rule number 2. Rule number 3, the last one. If the atom is in parentheses, you need to multiply it to the subscript outside. For example, you have 2H2O, and these are all enclosed in parentheses, and there's a subscript of 3 outside. Again, if you have this, remember your subscript only applies to the atom to its left. The coefficient is applied to all the atoms in your formula. And since all of these are enclosed in parentheses, and there is a subscript of 3, that means the subscript of 3 is also applied to everything inside your parentheses. So if you get, you try to get the number of atoms that you have in this chemical formula, for hydrogen, you have 2 times 2, which is 4, times 3. So that means there are 12 hydrogen atoms. Now for oxygen, that would be 2 times 1 times 3. So that's 6 oxygen atoms. Okay, so these are all the rules that we have for counting the number of atoms in a certain chemical formula. Now say we have this as our example. Count the number of atoms for each element. Okay, so you have a coefficient of 4, then you have H2SO4. This is sulfuric acid. This is read as four molecules of sulfuric acid. Now we count the number of atoms for each element. We start with H, hydrogen here. How many atoms of hydrogen do we have? We have a subscript of 2, which is applied to hydrogen. And there is a coefficient of 4. So for hydrogen, again, that would be 4 multiplied by 2. So that means we have 8 atoms of hydrogen. Now we go to the next element, which is sulfur. How many atoms of sulfur do we have? That's 4 multiplied by 1. There is no subscript, hence we say there is only one atom. So that's 4 coefficient multiplied by 1 atom of sulfur. So that means total number of sulfur atoms would be 4. And for oxygen, we have 4, the coefficient, multiplied by the subscript for oxygen, which is 4. That's 4 multiplied by 4, which gives us 16 atoms for oxygen. Now we get the total. What's the total number of atoms in this compound? That's 8 plus 4 plus 16. That gives us 28 as the total number of atoms in this compound. So again, these are 
The things that you need to remember whenever you count the number of atoms in a certain compound, check the subscript. It should only be applied to the atom or to the element to its left. The coefficient is applied to everything, to all the elements in your compound. And if they are in close in parentheses, then you should also make sure that you multiply it by the subscript outside your parentheses. All right, that's it for today. Happy learning.